Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm coming at you with another fish gang video. We are at you live from Vancouver, Canada right here and I will take you on a very special journey today to see all the little fishies swimming around uh, the Arctic Bay of, as I said, beautiful Vancouver, Canada. So I hope you uh, strap in, strap on, and I uh, we're gonna take some beautiful videos of some beautiful little fishies. Let's go. Now here is one of the local land fishes that have uh, adapted to this Arctic climate. Uh, he's sunbathing right now to try to get a little bit warmer. Uh, clearly does not have a coat on, and that is one of the uh, biggest downfalls of this land fish species. So let's see if he can, wow, we are right up in it and I am a little scared right now. So uh, we're gonna let him keep sunbathing and let's check out some more. All right, fish gang guys, now we got our very first ever tropical look at some tropical little fishies. So right here we can see, oh, okay, right in this corner here, we got all these red little fishies. They are schooling up, swimming around very nice. And then uh, you can tell they're red because uh, of their red face, uh, red snappers as some locals like to call them. Um, I'm the only local that calls them that probably. Then we get um, some zebra fishies. Well, I can't see them in the camera. That's okay. Oh, there's one, a zebra little fishy. Uh, you can definitely tell that one's tropical because um, of all of the beautiful, vibrant uh, little colors there. Uh, not only do we have those little fishies, we also have uh, some beautiful seaweed. We got, uh, living down there they are uh living uh, capturing all of the co2 from the water and then turning it into sweet oxygen for the uh fishies to breathe let's see over here oh they're all swimming away from me now but you can uh where do you go oh that one's a little smaller so we'll, we'll catch one of the bigger fishies um and yeah, we just got so many fish swimming around everywhere. It is truly um, something to behold with all of these, um, you know, fish living here. So let's keep moving. Let's keep going down that way and see what else we can uh, spot. All right, now one of the most disgusting things I've noticed on my trip here is uh, that little uh, bugger right there. That is a speckled back uh, crab. Uh, crabs, I have discovered, are one of the spiders of the sea. Truly uh, frightening, terrifying, and really disgusting guys that you never want to come across. And uh, some of them even, I've heard, can be poisonous. One look at them can just kill a man. So uh, keep away from them if you're a guy. Girls, I've heard, are okay, which is weird, but that's just the way science works. So, all right, let's keep moving. <laughs>
All right, boys, we got um, a very long, very big uh, pencil boy down there. He is approximately, uh, I'm going to say, 14, maybe 16 inches. Uh, one of the largest uh, beasts in this entire ocean. Uh, at 14 inches, I am hard-pressed to find anything else in this uh, Arctic landscape that even comes close to that uh, big boy. Oh my word, look at that! Oh my god! Did you see, are you seeing that? Yes. This is first in here, folks. We have just seen one of the absolute beauties of what this ocean can hold for us. Those were, that was incredible. All right, <laughs> so those look um, possibly tunas, probably not even close. And um, they had a beautiful colors on them, uh, moving around extremely fast. That pencil boy has nothing compared to what we just saw right there. All right, so uh, if we get back in character, we have um, another uh, fish tip fact for you guys. Um, so we have, uh, on this rock here, we have some algae. It is, uh, we can see the purple, maybe green, blue, and then the black. So that is actually, um, algae, with saltwater algae, unlike, um, freshwater algae, which is usually just green and brown. But, um, this saltwater algae, or as we like to call it, uh, sea glue, not to be confused with, uh, with an igloo, um, that holds everything nicely in place, and it keeps, uh, rocks from moving in extreme, uh, climates and everything, and, um, if you see that spotted thing right there with the big spot on it, that is a saltwater tang, um, it actually eats a lot of the algae that um, grows on some of the rocks. Now, it eats some of the green algae, um, all of the hard algae right there, uh, which is called sea glue. Um, not too much interest in that, but um, some of the, the greener stuff it likes to pick on. And um, yeah, this has been incredible. So uh, nothing else will compare to this moment right here, this shot. So uh, take it all in. Uh, we got our pathetic uh, pencil boy right there. And uh, yeah, let's keep moving. Let's keep seeing what uh, this place has to offer. All right, guys, I'm very sorry to tell you, but I am unable to move any further on this pier over here. We've got more of the speckled back uh, crabs. My God, I, I'm i too close. I, oh God. All right, all right. So now we got uh, something a little different than the fishy swimming around before. We have uh, these uh, little little circular guys down here. Those are actually uh, uh, speckled back snails. That is right. These snails, um, do you see all those little divots in the rock? These snails eat the rocks. That That is absolutely true. And um, that is why if you're ever um, in this part of Vancouver, Canada, you never want, absolutely never want a speckled back snail sitting on your house because my God, my God, we've got issues then. So uh, those were the speckled back snails. Leave them in nature, just, just leave them alone. Uh, and then we also have this, uh, a couple of these little guys. The water's a little choppy right now, so you can't see them that well, but uh, some anemones. If we remember from uh, Finding Nemo, they are little bubble uh, anemones and they help keep some of the smaller fishies safe. They live on all of the good nutrients that is coming uh, around this alcove here. And yeah, they're just swimming around just like a plant. They, they like the sunlight, they like to live in the water. So yeah, uh, oh, now we got some actual fishies coming. Oh, you can see them. Yeah, a little fishy guy right there. Uh, that is a black wrasse. They are uh, actually good for aquariums too. Uh, don't pick that one up though, because uh, you'll uh, run into customs if you try to bring them over the border. Leave that to the professional smugglers 
uh, yeah, don't try to attempt anything uh, we do here at home because I am a professional uh, adventurer uh, for all of you guys out there bringing along the fish gang to uh, this beautiful uh, Arctic Bay here. Uh, last thing I want to show you from this little section here is we got this uh, man-made object here. It has a lot of different um, drinks that people consume uh, usually during the nighttime and uh, usually I like to come out here if I ever want to feel just a little bit more like a fish, get a little more loose and uh, become an expert at all things fish related so um yeah i we're gonna keep moving the tour does not end here my guys we are gonna keep moving and uh see what else we can find all right all right fish gang we've got a pretty rare find for you guys here this is a saltwater puffer fish uh pretty rare wow he is coming right up to see us pretty rare pretty uh magnificent find uh, don't want to scare him at all because he will puff up like a spiky balloon and uh, that would be a bad time for everyone so uh, yeah that is something to absolutely behold all right all right guys one of the uh, extra little fishies here I don't even know if you can call it a fish but he's in the water so he's a little fishy today uh, we got for you uh, one of these little sea urchins. Uh, it was hard for me to spot, but I was eventually able to do it. Uh, he is uh, definitely spiny with a soft underbelly. Uh, don't ever want to touch one of those. Uh, you'll probably prick your little finger, so that's not good. And then also we have a better shot of some um, anemone down there. And we got a ton of other little fish uh, swimming, swimming around. So that is a very tight school, very dense. Uh, learning a lot of good subjects down there. So, all right, let's keep moving. All right, fish gang, we just got a couple more shots here I'd like to show everyone. Uh, nothing crazy, just some more uh, zebra, yellow zebra stripe, uh, yellow zebra fishies. And then we got uh, some more uh, hard uh, uh, corals down there. Uh, not like the anemones where they're very soft, very moving. Uh, those are hard corals that like to live and grow on top of uh, certain rocks there. Um, let's see what else we can get here. And, uh, oh, let's try to get, no, that's too much. Um, let's see. Yep, so that is the, so that is it for this uh, fish gang uh tropical arctic tour of vermont canada uh thank you very much for taking the time to come out with me and see all of these uh beautiful tropical uh, arctic little fishies uh very cold out here uh very dangerous with all those crabs and everything i am uh your tour guide so i was able to be safe i was wearing my uh you know crab repellent underwear so very um very important again something the average person wouldn't know but your tour guy here knows exactly what is going on so without further ado uh thanks everyone oh wait uh, you might have noticed i've got my uh, little fishy shirt on here uh definitely come out to my patreon my and uh pre-order some of the new uh fish gang merch we've got uh this tropical uh fish gang guy uh t-shirt comes in all sizes from small to uh 20x so we've got every single person or animal covered uh if you want to put it on your little chihuahua or um if you own a pet gorilla we've got you covered and then so lastly remember to like favorite subscribe comment share and um, hit that bell notification so you can get uh, uploads of future videos so thanks again uh, signing off from very cold but very beautiful uh, Vermont Canada and uh, Vancouver my god it is it's the crabs they're getting to me already my god oh god I gotta go to the hospital all right bye guys peace